One of the most common things that a host is interested in learning is how does this all look to their cleaner when they're going to go ahead and complete a project or receive assignments or receive project requests. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Um, so I have my phone displaying over on the left side of the screen, um, and I'm going to show you the way that the cleaner app interacts. So in order to show how a project notification occurs, I'm going to mimic the idea of a new reservation being created and a project being created and presented to your primary cleaners by utilizing a special project. So a special project, again, is you know, something that hosts can use to manually place a cleaning onto this schedule that is not based on a calendar event. Um, think something like a post maintenance clean or a deep cleaning or a, a touch up that's been requested by a guest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select a specific property. You can have default checklist appear or no checklist, default price. Um, but for this instance, I'm just going to say my checklist. During this, you can assign it directly to someone if you wanted to. I'm going to hit save and publish this project. And you'll see that my phone has a new project available. So if I were going to open up this project, it'll bring me into Turnover BNB right to the project itself. So this is the project that I just created at Miami Springs for 11.30 to 4.30. It'll show you some details. Um, now that I'm in the Cleaner app, I'll just give you a quick understanding. Um, this is the Cleaner application on Turnover BNB. Cleaners generally are using this, not a web application. Even though we do support a web app for cleaners, most of the time they are working off of their app. Um, they'll be able to see messages. They'll be able to see projects that are upcoming, or if they're getting paid through the platform, they can see upcoming payout schedules. They can invite their own team members. They'll have their notifications and help center here as well. Down the bottom, there is their project schedule where I can see this request. I can see a schedule as well, which will combine requests as well as accepted projects. So you can see kind of this is how their view looks. They can also jump against the calendar should they need to jump to a specific date. If they need to accept a job, they can do it right here and it'll add them to the schedule. You know, it'll add it to the host schedule as well that, you know, my cleaner has accepted the job. If I was going to go ahead and complete a project, I'll click on Palm Beach here. This is the view that they see. So the amount of information is pretty good. You know, they're going to see, oops, sorry about that. So they are going to see, you know, the start time, the finish time. They can ask to be removed from the project, but they can't just remove themselves. They can direct themselves to the property. They can see if there's any existing problems, the next guest arrival. Um, but down the bottom, there's ready to start this project. If they click it, You'll see that there's a checklist, there's cleaning images, reporting a problem, leaving your customer note and inventory. So the checklist itself is on the top and this is kind of how they look. So you'll see there's tick box items that the host could have set up. There's requested images, which will open up the camera and re require a photo if mandatory project completion is turned on. Um, then they also can have guiding photos should they want to guide people through and let them know how something is supposed to look. And these can all be combined, you know, so they could have a text based item with a guiding photo requesting a photo matching as well. Um, it's really up to the host to go ahead and configure this inventory looks like this, you know, so they'll basically be ticking off how much of each one of these items is there. If I hit a problem threshold, the system would automatically create a problem when this cleaner marked the project as complete. There's a general images section where people can add photos from a library if they like. And when they're doing this, they can add multiple at the same time. There is a report a problem section. So this is the idea of like walking through the property and you recognize that something is broken that needs attention. So a work ticket can be created, you know, so I'll say the TV is broken. Oops, sorry. Let's fix it. They can document it. So they can kind of include pictures to help guide whoever's going to be dealing with this. As they report it, it'll now be presented to the host. 
you know, they'll be able to see it on their web application. If you're getting push notifications, they can get it in app as well and deal with it. Um, they'll see it right away as well, because generally they need to jump on these problems immediately. And there also is a general notes section. If they just wanted to kind of give some details about the previous guest or how anything that they need to document, but eventually they're going to mark this project as complete. And that is how uh, project completion takes place on the cleaner app.